Hey love, so another new unit and this one is by Friday Night Hair. This is their new GLS 48 with that shocking red tips. This one is pretty long so I went ahead and already cut the lace and added some concealer on the inner and outer portion. And of course I did use some tweezers to kind of like pull and tweeze and pluck the hairs just to give me a good part. So with this unit here I'm going to go ahead and put her on and wear her as a side part taking a little bit of my own natural hair out as the leave out just to give this wig some kind of style and flair as well as make it look as realistic as possible. The comb that I'm using is one of the metal rat tail combs which I absolutely love because those to me give the great the best parting space or it basically makes it a lot easier for you to part your hair. Now on to one of my favorite synthetic or keratin hair filler fibers which is by Topic. This is a really great hair filler fiber for those who have any type of thinning edges, balding spots, or you just want your hair a little bit thicker. To give my outer portion of my lace wig a more realistic look, I'm going to go ahead and use some of my concealer by Beauty Treats and I'm going to rub that into my part along with one of my favorite hairsprays which you guys see me use quite often is my Aussie Instant Freeze and this is an aerosol cam. Now to give this wig a little bit of life, you want to make sure that it doesn't look packaged and kind of wiggish. So go ahead and take your fingers and finger comb her through, loosening up that curls. And along with that, I'm going to be using a wide tooth comb just to make it a lot easier because my fingers do get tired after a while. So she is pretty long and she's a little uneven so I decided to take some of my scissors and kind of like layer her and cut her out and give her a little bit more style. She is pretty as she is but I don't want her too long because I don't want it to look so fake. But as for Friday Night Hair, they have one of the best websites ever. I love their units. They last a lot longer than most synthetic wigs and you do get a lot of hair for the price along with the parting space is always great. Now to keep some of this hair out of my face, I'm going to pin it to the side and let's watch the rest of this video. Okay ladies, so here she goes. This is the Friday Night Hair GLS 48 in the color DTR um, B35. So yes, you guys, Friday Night Hair has some new units with some shocking red colors. This one here is just um, basically red tips. You see, I cut a lot of the hair and unfortunately it was the red, but it was really long. It was a little bit too long and it was kind of uneven. So that is the reason for me cutting it and I just wanted to give it some layers and just kind of tame it down so that way it doesn't look so fake or what have you. Maybe it'll look like a good weave or just a good wig in general. The thing that I did, um, I did notice that there's no parts in these units so I went ahead and I tweezed a part for myself. You don't have to tweeze it but if you do you need to make sure that you don't tweeze too much because you don't want your part to be so wide. This unit is gorgeous. I love curly hair now especially if it's like synthetic virgin curly hair then it's easy to manipulate and it's not a lot of work so with this particular style as long as you leave a little bit of hair out you can always pin it up on the sides like I did that way you can keep it out of your face and you can just give it a different style you can also wear it down you can put it in a bun it just all depends on your leave out and how you went ahead and styled it so for this one right here you know she is really cute there are three combs in it as usual I like Friday Night Hair a lot because they give enough parting space, but their units last a substantial amount of time. I will post all the information for this one below, which is the GLS 48. You guys let me know what you think of her. They have loads of different styles. And as always, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video.